I have here a, uh, well, a tuna can, but the tuna can has a bunch of pieces of paper in it. Confetti. This is going to be so awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Um, what do you think is the net charge on the paper right now? Zero. Yeah. Yes. So, charge of a balloon. Alright, so your task is to describe what you see and then explain why it happened. Here we go. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it's pop colors. I like the noise it makes. Yeah, I like the noise it makes too. Oh, that's so cool. Have you had to pick that up like six times today? Yes. <laughs> I have a broom under the desk here. Okay, so again, please so describe cool. what happened. Just describe it as best you can, and then why do you think it happened? Go. So, anybody have any ideas why? We got an idea over here. Yes. So, like, when you bring the balloon over, it attracts the little pieces of paper, but once they get enough electrons, they like, split away from the balloon. Okay, so we've got the balloon. We've got two pieces. We got it attracting the things, and then when they actually get up there. So we have the balloon. What's the charge on the balloon, do you think? Negative. Yeah, probably negative. Uh, we don't know what it is. Negative what? So I'm just going to say negative. But uh, it's probably got a lot more negatives than positives. I don't know. Let's just make it a lot. It's a very dry day. There we go. Okay, so let's leave aside the attraction part, but but Jimmy says once the paper actually touches, guys, once the paper actually touches, what would you say happens? The, the electrons go from the balloon to the piece of paper so they repel off. Okay, so he says some of these electrons are going to jump in there. And you're right. They are going to jump in there. And since the paper was a net zero charge to start with, I don't know, maybe it had two of each or something. When you put more electrons into it, what will it net, its net charge be? Negative. Yeah. Thank you, Zach. So then we have a net, something with a net negative charge, something with a net negative charge. What happens when you have uh, the same charge? They repel. They repel. So then we get a force that repels. So that's why they seem to be jumping off of the balloon. When they, when they got to the balloon, the paper seemed to immediately jump off the balloon. But, how did they get attracted to the balloon in the first place if the pieces of paper were a net zero to start with? Because they had the positives. Oh, because the balloon you... They do have positives, that's true, but they also have negatives. The... The... Zero charge one still wants to get rid of its electrons so it goes up where it can to. No, but like you said, how, the, how we did the little example thing, and you like four pictures thing, how the electrons move away and the, pro the, well, the, pro the protons can't move, but the electrons move away, so then that's why they go up, but then once the electrons come back in. Okay, so the atoms in the paper are going to polarize. I see. So we. we well, what will happen is the electron will try to get away, can't get very far, but it will try. So that these things will polarize. So now the side closest to the balloon is a little, a little positive, right? So the positive side will be attracted to the negative balloon. The negative side will be repelled, but that side is further away. This, is, this close is a little bit further, and the further away you get, the weaker the electromagnetic force is. So it'll be pushed away, just not as much. We're in the room. Ah, sorry. Okay. So the net force is still that way toward the balloon. Okay. So again, we start off with normal paper here. Bye. 
If I let it sit here long enough, by the way, um, the, elect the extra electrons it picked up in that step will bleed off into the table, and I can do this again. So, let's see if Does I remember. Does that mean the table will like repel away from things? Well, the table is so big, it has a lot of electrons, we basically can consider it ground. So, it can suck up as many as electrons as we want it to, basically. Plus, it's actually attached to the ground. So, I should be able to do this again now. Yeah. Whee! Sounds like hot. Yeah.